All right, class, so let's see if I can't uh, make this work. I'm trying, still sharing. So, mole to mole relationships, you find this from the balanced equation. Let's go with that, I guess. So, that comes from the balanced equation. And here's an example of one where we have uh, when aluminum reacts with oxygen, it makes aluminum oxide. How many moles of aluminum are required to react with 8.4 moles of aluminum ox uh, oxygen? So, given. Here's our given, our 8.44 moles of oxygen. And here's our balanced equation. These will be given, but in this case, we have aluminum oxygen to make aluminum oxide. Um, the charge on aluminum is plus 3 based on where it is on the periodic table. Oxygen is minus 2, so you crisscross your charges. Since there's 3 here, oxygen, and you want, uh, you can't see my thing. And there's two here. That means you would need three of these to get the two of those uh, to get. You would need three of those to get six. And then you would need two Al2O3 to have six oxygens as well. And then the two times two aluminums makes four. All right. So long explanation for nothing. Uh, let's move on. So we need, this is looking for moles of aluminum. We need moles of aluminum. So we are given we start with that. You take your 8.44 moles of oxygen. You want to get to moles of aluminum. And the way to do that is you are going to need to convert moles of oxygen, which we'll put in the denominator so that these cancel. And you're going to want moles of aluminum on top to get an answer. And this mole to mole relationship we just said comes from the balanced equation. And so you see here the big four and the big three. So that means three of these for four of those. 8.44 times four divided by three gives you 11.25 moles of aluminum. So that's that one. Using the same one, we're gonna go with uh, given 3.65 moles of oxygen. So 3.65 moles of oxygen. And we need to know uh, how many moles of aluminum oxide? So we need moles of aluminum oxide. And the question is, uh, first, what is the limiting reagent? Well, if we have excess aluminum, which it says here, that means we have a bunch of this and not a lot of that, right? So if we don't have a lot of that, that means this oxygen is determining what it is we make as a product. So the limiting reagent is the one that there's not excess of. So we put our given down, 3.65. That's moles of oxygen. And we want to go to moles of Al2O3. And to do that, we want to cancel moles of oxygen. We want to go to moles Al2O3. And that's a mole to mole relationship. And then in that case, if we have a mole to mole relationship, we're going to look here at the balanced equation and we're gonna look at that O2, and we're gonna look at that Al2O3. So there's a three in front of the O2, and there's a two in front of the Al2O3. So we multiply the numerators, 3.65 times two, divide that by three, and we get 2.43 moles. That's a two of aluminum oxide. All right, so last, maybe, one for just the easier mole to mole ones. Propane gas reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. This is a combustion reaction. We talked about that. There's the balanced equation for you. Three carbons from the propane go to the carbon dioxide. That gives, um, and the eight hydrogens go to the water. So that gives you four there. So, and then when you add up all your oxygens, there's six from here, four from, six from here, four from here. So you need 10 coming uh, from there. All right. So given we have 6.70 moles of oxygen and we need uh, moles of water. So moles of water. So again, we just set this up with the 6.70 moles of oxygen here. And we're going to moles of water to cancel out moles of oxygen. We want something in the denominator. Oops. That's O2. That'll cancel moles of oxygen. We want to go to moles of water. 
a mole-to-mole -mole relationship comes from the balanced equation. So we're looking at oxygen to water. So oxygen has a 5 in front of it. Water has a 4 as a coefficient. So it's 6.7 times 4 divided by 5, and that gives us 5.36 as our answer. So multiply the numerator, 6.7 times 4, and then divide by 5, and that gives you 5.36. All right. Example four, we're given 2.14 moles of propane. So 2.14 moles of propane. And we need, uh, we have excess oxygen and we're looking for moles of water vapor. So we need moles of H2O. So the limiting reagent, since we have excess oxygen um, and limiting reagent has to be a starting material, Therefore, if we have all the excess oxygen we need, our limiting reagent will be the propane C3H8. So we start with 2.14 moles C3H8, and we're going to moles of water. And now to cancel moles of C3H8 to moles of water, we have a mole-to-mole -mole relationship, which you recall comes from the balanced equation. So we're looking for the coefficient here and the coefficient here. Now, since there is no real coefficient there, there wasn't a lot of room there, but the C3H8 has no coefficient. So we it's an understood one. The water has a coefficient of four. So that means for every four moles of water we make, we need one mole of C3H8. So you multiply the tops, divide by the bottoms, and that gives you 8.56 as your answer, moles of water. All right, and then example five, now we use a limiting reagent problem. So we don't, we have two givens. So you have 10 moles of propane and you have 10 moles of oxygen. So when you're given two numbers like this, moles of propane, moles of oxygen, and they're both the starting material, that means you gotta set up two problems and it's a limiting reagent problem. So what we need is how many moles. Now, I actually specified moles of carbon dioxide. If I just asked you for the limiting reagent, you could have gone to either product. So you need to know how much product is made when you do a limiting reagent problem. So we start with the 10 moles of C3H8, and we're going to moles of CO2. And to do that, we need to go from moles of C3H8 to moles of CO2, and that mole-to-mole -mole ratio comes from the balanced equation. So we're looking at the 1, and we're looking at the 3. So there's a 1 and a 3. So 10 times 3 divided by 1, that's going to give us 30 moles of CO2. Then we do it all over again with the water. I'm going to do water in blue just to be fun. Uh, I'm sorry, with the, uh, with the oxygen. So it's less fun. All right, 10 moles of O2 is our start. We're still going to moles of CO2. Now this time we, uh, we need to cancel moles of O2 and go still to moles of CO2. And we will still find that number here, O2 to CO2. So that's a five and a three. So it's 10 times three is 30 divided by five, which will give us six. Now, now we have two answers. We have 30 moles of CO2 from the C3H8. We have six moles of CO2 from the O2. The lesser one is the limiting. So since this is less, that means this is limiting. So the O2 is our limiting reagent. And that covers mole to mole. I'll now send one out about grams to mole. And uh, that should set you up. So let me get to this. I apologize for the delay here, but um, this is what I want. And stop.